What's up, everybody? Elo, I'm here, and welcome to Sweets and the Curse Mommy. Yeah. Let's see if I can do anything about this, uh, music. What? Oh, yeah. Much as I love the music on here, it would definitely make it a little bit harder for y'all to oh, Alright, now, for those of y'all who are not familiar with this wonderful game, not surprised me. I'd actually be more surprised if some of y'all had actually played this. Um, this is a game similar in playstyle to like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Time. Came out way back. Uh, I was, I want to say I was in my twenties. Um, I love this game. This game, I think the issue with it was it didn't get advertised as like it should have. And since I got it on Steam like a year ago, I've been thinking about playing it. And right now, since you know my current Minecraft series is taking a while per episode, I figured I might do some more games like this, even though they generally don't keep on the channel. Um, but if you're interested in watching, let's take this journey. The game's got a good story. Come join me. If you are not interested, there's a Minecraft series currently going on on the channel. It's had no views. Like one video is out of view for like one set or seven seconds. Go check it out. But for those of y'all who have decided to stick around, let's jump into a new game. Now I do have a save game on here, as you can see. Um, I actually haven't played this in like a, almost a year, maybe. Uh, that's where I'm playing through it with uh, Lilith to introduce her to it. Just go there. Time I feared has arrived. The dark goodness prophesized will soon descend upon us, and we need to be prepared. I have chosen you both because you have already proven you are my most worthy apprentices. The mission that you are about to embark on will be a test of your strength and abilities. Prepare yourself, for the path ahead will be highly dangerous can't guarantee safe passage or that you will return alive but you must go of your own choosing now is the time to stand down if you wish look at these two we have on the right sphinx demigod hero on the left we have horus in this game demigod hero um, I'm going to go ahead and say if you are familiar with Egyptian mythology um, which is something I've studied for years you're just going to have to ignore the fact that they do so much wrong from a mythological standpoint in this game but it's a good game good story and if you can distance yourself from the actual mythology of ancient Egypt when looking at it you'll enjoy it. I see. Since you have both accepted the task, I will transport us to Barak, the land of darkness. I'm going to pronounce things as best I can. There, you will need to find the Blade of Osiris, an old and powerful sword protected by the demons of Barak. Prepare yourself for the journey. Interesting side note, if I remember correctly, this game was actually uh, made by the same company that made Crash Bandicoot. Um, like the designers of, that worked on Crash Bandicoot, they are the ones that made this. This was their first game that they made completely in-house, if I remember right. Yes, that is the infamous Castle of Uruk. Nobody knows what goes on beyond those walls, at least nobody alive. But I can clearly feel the evil nature of that monstrous building. As you can see, the piercing, fierce ray is active, and that troubles me deeply. Legend tells us that it protects the castle 
and the surrounding areas of Iraq from a with a formidable power. This area is full of traps and obstacles, but nothing as devastating as that as the ray. Beyond this point, my powers are useless. I'm afraid I can't accompany you any further. Now, one thing I do want to point out is the first time I played this was on the GameCube, which is one of the systems it was released on. Um, so it's from that time period. But look at how beautiful it is. Still today. Now, both of you must search out the magical blade of Osiris. Only if you work together will you have the possibility of finding it. Good luck on your quest. My brave young adventurers. I think I can see something interesting in the rock structure over there. I'll go investigate it. You should check out this area. Look at that character. It's looking beautiful. Jump. Move around, move camera. Sadly, we have nothing to fight with. So. Let's see. Remember, right? Those go boom, boom. Get a fill for the controls again. There's nothing over here. Like I, they did a wonderful draw job on. Uh, oh yeah, notice how on um, top displayed blah 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 blah. X fix stuff. That is our health in the game. Yeah. Remember right, we have to destroy all of them. Come on, pick it up. Thank you. Now we can also throw these at the coconut, at the trees to make stuff fall. But uh, yeah, it's usually gonna be something that's gonna attack us and Right now, we don't really have a weapon. So, a couple more of these to... Gotta be a rock up here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Sphinx, I'm over here. If I have the lava fall, come over. I need to show you something. Blah, blah, blah. There's the room. This is too high for you, isn't it? I don't understand why the Master insists on having you accompany me. You're just holding me back. I'm skillful enough to find the blade without your help. You'll need to figure out how to get up here yourself. Hey, cute. Right. Rock. Ah. Okay. Guess we can we not jump while carrying the rock? No. Coconut. We got the coconut. That was a little too close. Okay, I don't know what those. Oh, okay, maybe it wasn't those that we needed. Maybe it's the coconuts from the trees. 
That was a month. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this. Far too scrawny. I'm starving, but I'm not desperate enough to eat the likes of you. Too many clothes. If only I had a few coconuts. Haven't had coconuts in ages. Hmm. Just thinking about them. Yeah, he wants coconuts. So we'll hit the trees with the rocks and get the coconuts. Blow up plants are still a pain in the butt. And get yeah. to go. I don't know how many I need. Like, do like three or five. Something like that. Throw! Yeah. Oh, and there's a problem. Because we have no way of uh, fighting. Is a cool looking cover though. Uh, pick up. Sure. I don't think that one's gonna be of use. Oh, no. Well, they disappear after a minute. How many of these do I need, dude? Oh. Hey, you with the face paint? What's that smell on you? Is that... Yes, coconuts. Okay. Yep, you can have them. So much, because much better. Just step on my tongue, and I can help you reach wherever you need to go. First, choose the horizontal direction, then choose the vertical direction. I will switch you over. And blah, blah, blah. Uh. My tongue? Get it. Yes. Ah, you got up here at last. I don't think I didn't think you would make it. Your snail's pace has lost its precious time. Anyway, I found the blood of Ra. Master Imu Imutep said it would allow us to walk on flowing lava and steam geysers. But it is impossible to get near it. I will need to find another solution. Yeah, Horus, it, it's not that hard. Yeah. Maybe just sit here and throw rocks at him. Pick it up. Yeah. Well, you made a rock. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that solution before. Because you're not as smart as me. You were probably just lucky. Or rather, I knew the solution and was simply toying with you. I've met people like that in real life. Anyways, I'm going on ahead. Blah, blah, blah. If you want to read what he said, go back and take a look at it. Uh, we got to stand in that longer. Come on. There we go. Run on the flowing lava. Yeah. Grab. Alright, this way. Oh, 
ride this back down because as you can see the uh, blood of raw is wearing off and flicker 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 the movement of him flying through the air. That is just oh beautiful. Come on. Yes, I know this is a lot of running back and forth, but it is what you take. These guys are such a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's funny to watch trying to run. What I want to do. Watch for this. That and go. Rosh here. We might need it. Ah, I missed it. Oh, yeah, uh, up until we get actually pick up a weapon, throwing rocks is the only weapon. We have. Yeah. yeah, we just straight up knocked him out. Sphinx over here. I think I may need your help after all. Look, if you throw a rock at the animal warren over there, perhaps you'll get something useful. Ooh, ooh. That over there, little statue with glowing eyes, that's our save points. Because this is from back in the day when, uh, you know, video games had save points. Where is the rock? There it is. Let's, uh. Yeah! Okay. Come and hit that tree. That is in game money. Yeah. Yeah. And at this point, not easy to come across. So, from trees. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. There's my little button. <laughs> Careful Sphinx, those monsters look pretty harmless, but they are highly explosive. When angry, they flash red and hurl themselves towards the enemy, exploding on contact. If you're quick on your feet, you can use them to your advantage by luring them towards an appropriate object. They also spit up a baby. That's that uh, rock we can make to get back to. Come on. Oh well, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. We do not want that other one blowing up on us. Ah, two of them. Oh, and another one. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Save. I'll check and see if that will also need to say. Hey, Sphinx, up here. Come on. You must hurry. You're going to need your help up here. Just jump against 
the wall and use the blah 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 to climb up and down the right. Choose climb slowly, move. Right. Watch out for these spiders though. And give you a nasty bite if you're not careful. Look at them spiders. They got freaking knives for the last part of their leg. I love his move. When he's climbing, the, the way they make him move is so cool. Sword. Oh, hello. Over here, use the road across the gap. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know how to use the rail, dude. Look at that outfit. This thing's awesome. You know, if I was young and caught and in good shape, oh, that hurt. I'd cosplay as him. Of course, that would involve having to have the skill and knowledge of how to act, you know, make the outfit, but I'd love to see someone cosplay as him. Now, why are they shooting at me and not him? found it, the ancient blade of Osiris. Look, it sits over there on that rock pin pinnacle, I guess. But, how can we reach it? The blade of Osiris is now in sight, but I can see no way of getting it. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. He's very good at telling me, you know, that he can't do anything. Thank you very much, Phoenix. You've been more helpful than I expected. Now I can get to the Blade of Osiris. <laughs> What's going on? Everything is trembling. Look great. It's charging. This is not bode well. Well, that was lucky. Oh no. Where's this thing going? Sphinx? Sphinx! Ah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why he's complaining. I've already fell in lava once. But. No going across the bridge. Bridge bad. That's where we came from, right? We came from down here. Okay, so yes, let's go try this way. Oh yeah, eyeball thing in my bibber. Eyeball thing in my bibber. Rock. Is there no rocks around here? Zip line. Yeah. We're up. Yeah, that works. Sword. Oh, that's cool. The blade of Osiris. God Osiris wants to go to the blade. Yay. Oh, cool. 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 Yeah, and there actually is a point in jumping up and hitting those uh, lights. You found the blade of Osiris, but your actions have alerted those in 
the castle aura. Through those caves is a magical portal. Ancient devices formerly used by the gods to travel between worlds. And years ago, I hit a portal amulet up on a high ledge on the exterior of the portal chamber. That amulet will allow you to return swiftly and safely to our temple. But you must hurry, Sphinx, before you suffer the same fate as Horus. I really think should have been used a lot more often in the game. I don't really think we use it that much to the game. You can tell we started wearing off. One cave is where we need to go now. Because now we can fight. Certain abilities yet. Okay. Sadly, these things we still need the rock, really. And I suck at throwing them. The camera angle keeps going like that. I think it's a little just a little bit too sensitive. Open. <coughs> what you got for me? What you got for me? Uh, mysterious amulet. Symbol. Ah, these guys. Oh. Off me. Die. Weird little head crab spider. As you can see, the camera keeps aiming directly down. Ow. Ow. Raw post. Come on, blow it up. Ow. Right. Definitely gonna need a new controller. I don't know what it is. This is actually, uh, this controller was a little, so mine started doing the same thing. Which is quite the easy one. Oh, hello, guy. Of course, this one, mine was doing much worse. Now, stuff with monsters actually becomes a lot funner later in the game. Um,. Ah! 
camera angle. Is that it? Get on my nerves. You wanna play more? Yeah, that flashing and the sparkles coming off of them. Yeah, that's something we're gonna get into uh, later. Yeah, dang, can't reach out. Let's see. Where? There's where we gotta get up to. a little safer. Oh! That was a long fall. There we go. And by far, I am no expert at this game. Um, I just love the game. There's a few things I remember about what to do. Especially when I come to an area and it's like this. It's like, oh, yeah, I don't actually be here. Ta da! You get a platform. I'm not sure if that's just me remembering parts of the game or my years of playing video games. There's anything now. Because I know what's coming. Run, run, walk. Oh, it's freaking beautiful. The red. Bam! At least we didn't get knocked down into lava, I guess. We just got blown through a freaking stone wall. Alas, you are trapped here in the portal chamber, and you do not have the correct portal amulet. We should be grateful that you are still alive. Unfortunately, the defenses of the castle are simply too strong for us. You have failed to collect the amulet that would send you home, but I see you found another mysterious amulet. I have no idea where it will take you, but it seems you have no choice. Step up to the magic circle in front of the portal god and use the amulet. Sphinx, I only hope it takes you to a safe destination. Okay, we are going to save here. And we are going to call it a day for this recording. If you have enjoyed what you saw here, hit that like button. Uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions. Um, I do want to thank everybody for watching. And I will see you all next time.